Hi, so I've purchased an i7-6700T. It's a low TDP processor and I'm going to basically upgrade my fanless PC, which is this here, which currently contains an i5-6400T. Now this is what I do in my office work uh, on and I also do my video editing on here. So it's got 16 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM in here, but the 4-core i5, um, it's adequate, but uh, the 4 extra threads that I get from the i7 processor and the higher clock speeds and boost speeds, uh, I'm hoping will make a nice difference. Uh, I've purchased this processor for £150. And once I've replaced the processor and take the old one out, I'd expect to, to possibly get a few quid for it. And in the end, I'll probably end up paying around £90 for the i7 uh, upgrade processor. I shall then do some benchmarks and then see if the whole thing was worth it. Um, I'm not entirely sure that it will be worth it. It could be a complete waste of money. Um, but... If I don't try, we won't know. So I'm going to upgrade it now and uh, then I'll do a few benchmarks. I'll do a Cinebench benchmark and then I'll do um, a test for thermal uh, you know, properties, make sure it's not overheating and it's, it's running right. And then I'll do a couple of benchmarks with uh, my video editing suite to see if I've got any improvements. So let's get working. So the fanless PC has been upgraded, it's a new day, I feel a lot fresher today and we have some uh, benchmarks to look at so let's jump in and have a look at Cinebench. So here you can see that Cinebench with the i5 had a score of 400. Now if we move over to the i7-6700T we can see quite an increase, the score has gone up to 672. What I did next was, as I ran the fanless PC for 20 minutes, uh, stressing the CPU, uh, getting it as hot as possible, and as you can see on this chart here, that the CPU was running around 48 degrees. There was no thermal throttling uh, and everything was running fine. So if we have a look at the same bit of info, but using the i7-6700T, we can see that it peaked at around 70 degrees. Now that's just about within its thermal uh, limit, so that's fine. So if we look a bit further down, we can see that the power limit has been exceeded. Now what that means is it's drawing too much power, so that will automatically be limited so that the CPU stays within its thermal properties. Now, the um, when I looked at it, what I could tell was that it was limiting it by between five and 10%. Now this will only happen when the CPU is being pushed to the absolute limit. So during normal use, uh, we shouldn't see the power limit being exceeded. But this is completely normal and uh, it's not the same as thermal throttling where you will see uh, a dramatic drop in performance. So if we look at the um, benchmarks that I've done with the video editing software that I use, one feature that I do use is stabilisation. Now, I've used a one minute video and I've um, basically stabilised it uh, using the, the built in software. And with the i5, that one minute video took 11 minutes 42 seconds, which is quite a while. So you can imagine if you're doing that for a you know, 20, 30 minute video. When I put the i7 in, that dropped down to 8 minutes and 8 seconds. So that's quite a drop there. Now, if I was to create that video, um, once it's been stabilised, that, once again on the i5, took a fair bit of time. So a one minute video would be six minutes and one seconds. Now, with the i7, that dropped down to four minutes, 37 seconds. 
So that's quite a healthy drop for the upgrade to the i7, which cost £90 all in all roughly. So I was worried that I wasn't going to get my money's worth, but it seems that um, the upgrade was well worthwhile. And I'm very happy that I've upgraded to the i7 6700T. So if you are having the same dilemma, if you're worried uh, about upgrading from an i5 to an i7 and you're not sure that you're going to get the benefits of it, well, for creativity anyway, it's certainly been a good upgrade for me. And bearing in mind that the i7 has a slightly higher clock speed as well. So all in all, it was definitely worth uh, worth doing. So I'm happy with that. So hopefully that's helped someone somewhere out there and hopefully I haven't bored you too much. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.